How's it going y'all? Today we finally got the MP10 TKI2 in. I'm very, very pumped on it. I'm ready to get this thing built. And I have the MP10 that I tried to do the giveaway with, which I kind of understand why it didn't work because I'm horrible at the YouTube thing. <laughs> that video was just horrible. But I'm still kind of getting used to the talking in front of camera. I want to get y'all's opinion on how we could possibly try to give this car away again. You know, well, I don't know, what, like a raffle, um, whatever, I don't know. So y'all decide, leave me some comments, let me know what y'all think would work. And uh, possibly maybe trying to give away an MP10 TKI2 if this actually goes well. But like I said in that video, you know, I still have my MP10 that I built. That y'all seen me run in the, the previous video. This thing is like brand, brand new. I have the electric car, so I don't have as much time to run the stuff as I would like. So as I told you on that video, this car would be outdated before I got a chance to run it. And as you see, <laughs> the new car is out. We got it in. I'm going to get this thing put together and stuff like that. But first, I'm going to kind of run through and show you all the differences in the two kits. So I will be opening this one and just, you know, showing you all the parts and stuff. But it'll still be a brand new kit. If you all are interested in possibly winning this, let me know how we should try to give it away in the comments. And uh, that's pretty much it. Let's get started and let's see, open this thing and see the goodies on the inside. I also want to say really quick, um, I kind of understand why Kyosho went to this smaller packaging like this. I mean, seeing them side by side, I mean, this is massive compared to this. So I can see it's saving a lot of money in material and not only that in shipping the product itself. It's going to save some money. But I do wish they would put this in a box itself and then have a sleeve over it. Not have like this, you know, sleeve right here like actually be like what the opening of the box so once you take the sleeve off the box is just open and that's the way it was with my mp10e and i really didn't care for that because mine was actually it was open so even though the bags are sealed you still kind of get the feel that it's been tampered with i guess like you know when you buy something of this caliber you know spend this kind of money on something you don't want it to be opened and I know it was just from like, you know, being moved around and stuff like that. I mean, it just has like a small little piece of tape on it and it just got torn and, you know, it was open. But yeah, so I do understand, but that was still a gripe and it still is. But I mean, like I said, it doesn't affect the quality of the car. This is still a great, great car. And, you know, I kind of understand, but I wish they would do something to make it feel a little more secure and closed and sealed when you get it. So anyway, let's get to it. All right, guys, we have the MP10 out of the box. And I'm going to open the MP10 TKI2, get it laid out. I could see this getting very, very messy. I really don't have the space to lay all this stuff out and open them and just separate the stuff out of it like I would like to do. So I'm probably just going to pull the stuff that they changed or the, you know, the updated parts and lay them out side by side. And uh, we'll just go from there. Um, but I will be building both these kits and, like I said, doing the uh, on-track side-by-side -side comparison. Because, I mean, they updated a lot of stuff. And for a professional driver, someone that is very more, you know, more capable, this is probably definitely a faster car. I'm not doubting that at all. But for your average Joe like me and probably half of you guys that are watching, if you already have the MP10, is it worth the extra investment to buy the TKI2? So that's what we're going to find out. going to build them. And run them together on the track side by side and see if these upgrades will actually you know result in a faster lap time if your talent level is not quite to par with some of the pros <laughs> so if you have the money of course spring for the new kit but if you've just recently bought the mp10 you know is it worth buying the upgrades and all that stuff or is your car just as capable at your ability as the new car would be so we're going to find that that's what we're going to answer in these few videos to come but for now i'm gonna get the parts laid out show you guys the difference and then we'll get these things built and get them on the track okay as you can see this is going to be quite a mess um like i said i just don't want to get the stuff mixed up but you have some nice wheels let's see 
just want to kind of keep everything. I know the shocks are an upgrade, you know, the different springs and caps. But like I so said, we'll get everything laid out. And this is the real, this is the, you know, the early, early uh, uh, MP10. So I know they upgraded, like, or they changed, they did an update to the old kit as well. So I know there's some differences. So this is the very, very old uh, MP10, like the original. Uh, so. Yeah, we'll get this stuff laid out. As you see, like this is going to take up a lot of space. So I'm just going to go through and pick out the parts and just kind of put the TKI2 stuff over here and the regular stuff over here. And then I'll come back and uh, show you guys the, uh, the little upgrades that they've done. Yeah, this is going to take a, a little bit of time. Got the body in here. Super sweet. Oh man, I'm running out of space really quick, guys. All right, so. But yeah, man, what a mess. Okay, I'm gonna go through, and get this stuff knocked out. Oh man, I can already see differences, like crazy differences. So, maybe not. Got it carried away there for a second. Okay, y'all, I'm hoping this is picking up pretty good for y'all. We'll just have to see. Um, but these are all the parts laid out. Um, these are all the parts that I noticed a difference on from the MP10 to the MP10 TKI2. If I've missed something, I apologize. It was uh, kind of difficult to go through and pick everything. But uh, we'll get right into it. Uh, with your hubs, if you've noticed, this is the MP10 one. Everything on the right is MP10. Everything on the um, left is TKI2. If you look at the hub, it's just a, the standard uh, hub. And the TKI2 one, it just has uh, some threads tapped on the side of it, so it'll actually lock into place. And this is the problem with like the bags. Not all the parts are in the same bag. So, you know, if this was in bag 10, this would be in a different bag. Um, so they're packaged different. But you can see that the hub nuts itself are different colors. There's no really big improvement or anything, but it's still, you know, it's it's something. And the rear control arms, if you look at them at first glance, you know, they, they kind of seem the same. But if you look right here, they clearance the rear just to give it a little bit more clearance. I'm assuming so when the car is at full droop, it doesn't bind and hit right there. And they also look, this right here looks a little bit more flat. This is a little bit a uh, glossier finish. I don't know if the material itself is different or not, but there's definitely something, maybe it's something with like the molding process going on there. And the front control arm, um, you can see they added um, a little bit of extra bracing right here. Um, but other than that, I don't really see anything else on the bottom. You can still see the same bracing right there. Probably just trying to strengthen up the durability. And as far as the bulkheads go, you can see a little bit of material added right there. Just strengthen up a little bit and a little bit right there in between. But other than that, I think they are the same. And the rear shock towers, there's a big improvement. You can see that they've added this probably to give it a little bit more strength right through there. Instead of just having that one piece come up. And of course you can see the, the difference in the geometry right there. Let's get them lined up. So, it doesn't look like a big improvement, but I imagine um, it does something. <laughs> uh, the front, you can see a definitely a difference. Um, this has a, you know, a definitely a taller profile to it. Um, honestly, I think this one is a better looking piece. That going straight up kind of looks a little funky, but that's just my opinion. 
And I think for now the the main or the big some of the big stuff they changed um, on the TKI it has a forty two twelve and a uh, forty five pinion or yeah pinion gear pretty sure <laughs> and on the old car it's a 46 uh 43 13 13 my bad um don't really know what that's going to do for our you know benefit but i'm sure it's a definite improvement of the old car and these are pretty much the same the out drives but you can kind of see it's like a it's not coated right here. I'm not, that's probably, I don't know why they did that, but I can imagine as this wears, the coating would come off maybe. But it definitely a nicer looking piece for the TKI too. So, you can see right there, this one's been machined out, and that's not. So, I don't know if that's like a durability thing or not. And the springs, they did a spring change. Uh, and the front, like I said, still with the gray. Or, that's the difference, yeah. The front still gray, and they went with gray in the back on the TKI2 instead of the blue. And they went with a little bit longer shock package. Um, not These are the fronts right here. Not only are they just a little bit, the shock body itself a little bit bigger, the shock shafts itself are just a little bit longer. And they've added more material on the caps themselves. And the TKI2 uh, is just strictly a bladder style. You don't have the option to do a motion. So you can see the difference right here. It's not a big difference, but talking scale cars, I'm sure it's going to do something, some kind of improvement. And uh, definitely a shock piston upgrade. Um, I think this is like an eight hole and this is five. Not sure on these, so I'm sorry if I'm misspeaking. And the same with the rear. You can see it's just, just a little bit longer shock shaft, shock package. The same thing with the rear, just a little bit larger shock body, a little bit more meat on the cap, and you don't have the option to run the emulsion style. So, just those few changes. Ah, I'll try to get this set back up. <laughs> and with the bodies, I wish I had one that was already painted. But you can kind of see, for whatever reason, they added like this little, you know, vent right there. The big change on the front of the car. It doesn't have like the big aggressive uh, kick up for downforce. It's a little smoother transition on this one. And the profile of the body changed ever so slightly. Not much. Um, I actually really enjoy, I really like the front of this car compared to the, the old style. But I uh, actually am a fan of the, the larger back window and everything on the, uh, the MP10. But uh, so that's just me being picky. And it has a smaller, uh, a smaller wing at the back. But yeah, very, very similar bodies though. But yeah, if I've missed something, uh, like I said, I want to apologize. As I build the cars, I'll go through and try to give y'all a little bit um, if I see anything else. And keep in mind that this is a very old, the original uh, MP10. So it's the new, I know they updated it. So there could be some differences that, you know, the other car may not have. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's the differences that I found, guys. If you know of some that I missed, please let me know. Um, like I said, we're gonna get these things built and uh, the next time you see it, hopefully it'll be all together and uh, we can get this thing on the track and see what this translates into handling and performance. Um, 
like I said, in capable hands, I'm pretty sure that these little bitty differences make for a much, much better car. But I'm an average Joe. So we're going to put them on, you know, build these cars 100% identical, put them on the track, and see if it will result in a faster lap time for me. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm kind of curious uh, myself to see if these small improvements will actually make this car a little bit easier to drive, a little bit faster maybe, who knows. Um, definitely seeing some uh, some durability stuff in the front control arm and in the bulkheads. So not all performance oriented, but uh, upgrades are always good for the most part. <laughs> But okay, next step, like I said, we'll get these things together and get them on the track and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, that's pretty much the differences that I could see from the uh, very early MP10 to the new MP10 TK2. Like I said, they do have a revised version of the MP10. Um, so some of these things I think are on that, the newer revised version. Like I'm pretty sure the bulkhead is one of those and maybe the control arms i'm not sure um but the main performance stuff you know the shocks the towers the gear ratio is definitely not on the mp10 uh revised uh, so uh but anyway we're gonna get these cars built and uh put them on the track and see if this these improvements for the tki2 will actually allow me to run a faster lap time because you know sometimes improvements you know you know, you do improvements to hope, you know, make your, you know, car faster, but it doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes improvements can hurt you, you know, make the car, you know, too hard to drive, too aggressive for your style or whatever. Um, like, I'm not a big setup guy, but we're just going to throw them out there and see if, you know, from my experience, if I can run a faster lap time with the MP10 TKI2, which is the, mo the most recent car compared to the oldest um, MP10 version. So... It should be def it should be interesting. So, if that's something that interests you, make sure you stick around, subscribe, share, like all that good stuff, and uh, I'll try to get some cool content for you. But like always, guys, I really really appreciate you for watching and supporting the channel. And um, don't forget to leave comments in the description to let me know how I should go about doing possible giveaways for the future. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I don't use anymore. You know, if y'all be interested in getting some of my old cars. I have uh, my Kyosho uh, STRR, um, I think like one or two races old. I'm not going to use that thing anymore. My old MP10s, uh, both those cars. I mean, y'all just let me know. Like I said, uh, if it's something y'all think y'all could y'll be interested in, like I said, maybe we can try to do some more like giveaway stuff. That'd be kind of cool, I think, because uh, anything to help you guys out and uh, help the channel grow, I'm totally cool with. But yeah. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling, like always. Um, I'm going to get to work, get these cars built, and as soon as we get some dry tracks around the area, I'm going to uh, try to put a cool video together. And uh, like I said, hopefully I can get somebody there to do some timing, because uh, that's what it's going to be about. So, But yeah. Anyway, like I, said, I got some work to do. And uh, I just want to say once again, appreciate you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.